The things that are written in the Old Testament concerning Israel are there for a purpose and for a reason. And I'm thankful to be able to spend time in the Old Testament. Uh, Paul says in Romans chapter 15, verse 4, that we are to learn from their example. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11, uh, he says essentially the same thing. Pay attention to Israel because from them we can learn lessons about our walk and our relationship to the Lord. So this uh, passage that I want to consider today found in our reading uh, from Zechariah chapters 1, 2, and 3 in Luke 11, particularly chapter 1, verses 2 through 4, I want to concentrate on because there are a couple of thoughts there that I just think are really important to us. So uh, the Lord has been very angered with your fathers. Therefore, say to them, thus says the Lord of hosts, return to me, says the Lord of hosts, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. Do not be like your fathers to whom the former prophets preached, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Turn now from your evil ways and your evil deeds. But they did not hear nor heed me, says the Lord. So for a dozen years or more, perhaps, uh, the task of rebuilding the temple has been half completed. Zechariah has been commissioned by God to encourage the people there to... to uh, finish the, the temple, to con complete their responsibility. Rather than exhorting them to action with strong words of rebuke, Zechariah really seeks to encourage them by reminding them of the future importance of the temple. The temple must be built for one day. The Messiah's glory will inhabit it. But the future blessing is contingent upon present obedience. The people are, the people are not merely building a building. They are building the future. Oh, uh, with that as their motivation, then they can enter into the project with really with wholehearted zeal in doing it for, but the Messiah is going to come. So the first few verses here in Zechariah set the tone for everything that is going to follow. The name of the Lord of hosts is used three times in verse three, and then once again in verse four. And so what that does is strongly intimate the seriousness of what it is that they're, the charge that they've been given to complete the temple. So that charge is, is not, that charge is this, they are not to be like their forefathers who experienced blessing and then began to backslide until they fell into idolatry. And that, that scenario happened over and over and over again. So the emphasis here upon the name of the Lord, of the Lord of hosts, just serves to, uh, to underscore the importance of, of the word that that, uh, that he is bringing, that uh, Zechariah is bringing to them. So uh, so what do we gain from that? What, what lesson is there for you and me in this? Well, I think there's a strong word of warning here for each and every believer. Uh, if what Paul says in Romans 15, 4 and 1 Corinthians 10, 11 is true, then we need to pay attention to the words that were spoken to Israel. Turn from all forms of evil doing and serve the Lord with all of our heart, with all of our mind, and with all of our strength. Why is that? Well, because Jesus is coming back. These words speak to us of the return of the Lord, and he is going to uh, inhabit his temple, as it were. And who are we? We are the temple. And so he is coming back to take us to be with him forever. And so it's important that we serve him with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength because he is coming back and we want to be ready for his coming, be looking for his coming. So uh, a word of caution to us from Zechariah and also a word of encouragement. Serve the Lord with all of your heart. Amen. Hey, just real quick on a personal note, just want to ask you to, if you think about this today, uh, remember Jeannie, my wife in prayer. Uh, she's going in, uh, we're getting ready to leave here in just a few minutes to go to the hospital. She's having uh, surgery on her foot, uh, has to do some reconstruction in there, and uh, she's going to spend the night in the hospital. So if you would pray for her today, uh, we'd sure appreciate that. Pray the Lord will uh, give her a, a blessing of a good uh, good procedure that'll be successful and, and that there'll be a quick recover for that. Hey, thanks for doing that. May the Lord richly bless you today. Amen.